Hey there. Well, I'm I'm tired of politics. I'm tired of politics. I'm tired of SJW versus anti-SJW. I'm tired of religion versus anti-religion. I'm tired of all this shit that divides everyone. I'm tired of it. Just tired of it. I fail to see a point anymore. When people can't have reasonable discussions, and I include myself on this, don't make, don't, <laughs> don't uh, start chastising me saying, you're involved in this too. Yeah, I am. I have been. And I want to stop. I don't want to be involved in that anymore. Man, listen to all the air conditioners going. Humid, really humid. I'm just tired of it. I want to make my... I want to improve my life as much as I can. But... <laughs> I mean, I, I used to... For, for years and years, I've... had the opinion that... Oh, the deep subjects, those deep subjects, was all, you know, about politics and religion. Well, no, not really. What are the patterns of humans? How can we help each other? What are the things that hinder our progress as people? What are the things that help our progress as people? How can we improve people's lives? Those are the real deep subjects. Politicians don't care about us. So why should we care about them? Now that's a political statement by itself, but I think it spans across just about every political viewpoint out there. I'm tired of the division. I'm tired of the polarized conversations tired of being involved in polarized conversations. I'm tired of the way it makes me feel. I'm tired of the way it makes other people feel. Where's the advantage to it? I'm going to be in eight months I'm going to move somewhere else there's not much chance for interaction in this in this town I can't really fully relate with many of the people that are that are here. They, they've lived a very different lifestyle than myself. But there's, there's nothing to do here. And my fallback, which has always been to uh, do political YouTube videos, well not always been, but I mean since, since I started doing it anyway, it's been my fallback.
and now I just, I... I'd like to share things that are going on with me, with people, you know, so that's what I'll, I've been wanting to continue to use my YouTube channel for. It's also a form of therapy for me. It's cost-effective therapy. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Yeah, hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. It's cost-effective therapy. And hopefully, you know, when I do that, it can help other people as well. But... There's also been a number of things about the place that I'm living that have been very unfortunate. About an hour ago, I looked down near the, uh, the toilet, <laughs> and on the floor, I thought, well, I didn't think my aim was that bad. And then I looked up and saw that the insulation was dripping. Dark yellow, or you could say brown liquid. And I went to go fiddle with it a little bit, just to see well, what's going on with this. And insulation falls and hundreds of rat turds fall on my head. Yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. I've always felt that the, the bathroom at my place is just foul. But that was... That was pretty over the top. And this is already after I've been thinking about... You know, possibly trying somewhere else after my rental agreement is up. But that kind of cemented it in for me. I know nothing's going to get done about that. I try to, I try to give her the, uh, the landlord. I try to give her as much time as she needs. But I, I don't think anything's going to be done about that here. And the refrigerator leaks. She, she did finally get the heater replaced in the kitchen because well she knows if if it didn't it could cause a fire and I, I know she'd rather not have a fire so she's a nice lady but it's kind of slummish that my place is kind of slummish there's so much that needs to be cleaned up at the place that I, I I've been overwhelmed with but that's not the main thing. That's not the main reason why I've... I want to... go somewhere else. It's that... there is nothing to do here. The only places I, you know, could hang out and meet people, you know, are filled with cigarettes and filled with people who have absolutely nothing in common with me. regardless of political affiliation, because there's people, there are many people that I know who have very different political views than myself that I get along great with. It's not really about political views, it's just can I relate with, with, with the people that are here? Can they relate with me? There's a lot of depressed people here, too. There's a lot of desperate people here, too. So many people I talk to out here are just like... They feel lost. They say that they're... This place is a giant dead end. It may be. It might not be. If I was satisfied with just existing... It might be cool. But... 
I'm not. I'd, I'd like to have some interactions with people. I'd like to be able to have the opportunity to have interactions with people. And I don't really have that here. I can make friends really easily. But only if I have the opportunity to meet people. Hey, kitty. Oh. If those opportunities aren't there, I mean, what... How can I make friends? You know? So I'm going to be, uh, when this rental agreement is up, well, I'm going to start two months before then and to, to really start looking. I want to go back to Eureka, California. I'm going to try to save as much money as I can, which I don't know how well I can do with the situation, but I'm going to try to do what I can. But. You know, one of the reasons why Eureka didn't work out for me before is because I didn't have a vehicle. There's a Walmart, there's a Winco Foods, which is an awesome grocery store. Cheap and good products. There's a Costco. All within a closer drive than any of the stores I am that, that are around here. I mean, it's like a six-minute drive to Costco from, like, the place that I lived in in Eureka last time. But I made so many friends there, just instantly. I, I, I'm, I made friends with, like, a dozen people there in just that short time I was there. I love the layout. I love the fact that they have mild weather there. It's always mild. Sometimes it might get a little bit cold, but it's not, it's not like what it's going to get here. You're not going to get a bunch of snow, you know, it probably doesn't get much above, I don't know, 72 or something there, which is perfectly fine with me. That's perfectly fine with me. I wasn't originally going to make a video about this. I was going to wait several months and then make a video about this, but I think I think there needs to be something something to, to let people know what changes are coming up on my channel. I, I don't really want to talk about politics anymore. There's there's just I, I, especially after I made that video where I said I agreed with Steve Shives about something, and now I'm people's enemy? No, fuck that. Screw that. And people can say, well, my video was divisive. It probably was. Not any more divisive than most of the other shit that's out there. But, you know, like I said, I have been involved in some of this stuff too, and I don't want to be anymore. Life is too short. I feel like I've been wasting a lot of mine. How can I improve my life? How can I improve other people's lives? That's what I want my focus to be. However that carries out on my channel, I don't know. And I'm not saying that I'm never gonna do something political. 
there can certainly be some extreme event or extreme situation that comes up that I'll want to chime in about. But I was realizing, you know, I was revolving my life around drama. Drama, drama, drama. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I don't want to do it anymore. That means, you know, you hear that and you're going, well, I'm going to unsubscribe. Go ahead. My, my, the point of my channel is not, is not just all about getting subscribers and becoming the most popular person. I, I'm, that's not why I do this. I'm working towards self-improvement. I'm hoping that, I mean, here, here's, here's my plan. Get away from the toxic elements of YouTube. Not, not get rid of YouTube, not stop doing YouTube, but, you know, get rid of surrounding myself with the toxic elements of YouTube. And then, Losing somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds. And trying to save money or, and you know, make some money like I've made some money recently. I've made about 40 bucks doing some voiceovers on Fiverr. Try to do what I can to save up to be able to go to Eureka again. And if I don't have enough for that, um, for, for the move itself, you know, I uh, may ask for help with family. I may ask for help through something like GoFundMe. But I'm hoping that at that, in eight months, I'll, I'll have saved up enough that I don't have to do those things. But who knows? I know where I want to be. I know who I am. I know where I want to go. I know what I want to do. And if that disappoints you, well, you know, uh, my life isn't all about pleasing you, so I guess that's all I've got to say. Thanks.